Hi, I'm your light shaman. Are you experiencing unpleasant energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night? My work involves clearing individuals, homes, and communities. Contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and I would be happy to help. Coaching for conscious entrepreneurship or travel is available with Huna Mahana. Book a free 30-minute consultation today at High Life Academy or High Earth Academy. For all of your high vibrational healthcare needs, you can visit Huna Kaparure at www.lightinaction.earth. Online energy support sessions and on-site property clearings in the North Salt Lake area with Huna Mahariwa Atta. Head to www.hummingbirdhealingharmonics.earth. Introducing Mexico's only harmonic egg, operated by Huna's Maroyata and Maaikuta. For all of your health support needs, be it physical or emotional, head to www.apapachar.earth. Hey, sweet, sweet dear ones, sweet dearly beloveds. Hey, hey, hey. Guess who's back? Got my uh, my sunnies on today. Call these sunnies. My uh, my shades. Trying to look cool. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Good to see you all, sweet, sweet dear ones, sweet dearly beloveds. What a lineup you have today. Thank you so much for being here. I want to thank Huna Tamake for running the lineup. Pretty interesting lineup. Now we're expanding with the entrepreneurships and the businesses of Dot Earth. I hope you're working on yours. Uh, look forward to adding more to the list here um, of our businesses. And um, over to you over there in the grams of instant. Sweet, sweet dear ones, welcome. Thank you again for visiting with me <clears throat> and with each other here. We have uh, quite a community now growing so so rapidly and exponentially and expandedly. Let me just send out a message. Sweet, sweet dear ones. Oh, looks like I've got capitals happening. I hope you don't mind. Change that. Yes, and welcome on this Unrata. Well, we're well into it now, aren't we? We're well into the in the Honimotu. This March seventeenth. Um, and. What a month this is uh, turning out to be. <clears throat> We've got a whole bunch of energies coming our way. And we're doing a bunch of work too. A whole lot of things taking place, ceremonies, uh, <clears throat> logins and protocols happening with the Hoonas constantly. It's amazing, and, and uh, of course, so many around the world that uh, we are yet to meet and we will meet. Uh, well, of course, we meet, etherically speaking, but um, 
you know, we, I like to guarantee. I want to guarantee a meeting. Let's guarantee a meeting, yeah. It's good to see you all and feel you, but also that when we can get together in the DNA, and that's what this show is uh, speaking to, protecting your DNA or to protect your DNA. But when we show up together and and on location to do missions together, we, we further strengthen and reinforce our DNA um, at this time. Oh yes, that's right. It's Saint Patty's Saint Patty's Day uh, over there in the in the Emerald Isle. So congratulations to you all over there in the Emerald Isle and the the land of the uh, Twatha de Danan, the Dunan. That sometimes in a while all would say Twatha de Dunan. So happy having a great uh, celebration. Of course, uh, Saint Patrick's and uh, a green T-shirts. Green pants, maybe even green, green underwear, yeah. <laughs> Certainly green beer. Um, and so I hope you're having a good time. Uh, of course, don't drive, don't drink and drive. Make sure you got someone to drive you if you are partaking heavily in the uh, festivities, okay? And so, uh, <clears throat> yes, talking about the DNA today, protect your DNA. Certainly... Okay, we we do a lot of things that put our DNA in jeopardy. For instance, drinking green beer. <laughs> we don't know what's in that green beer. Do you know what's in that green beer? In the green stuff, I've I've you know I've, I've participated in the years ago, but never knew why it turned. Was it just coloring? Yeah, you're right. We don't know what that coloring is. Uh, no, but seriously, in this time of these great uh, upgrades and changes, yes, the um, the protection of the DNA is important with the CMEs happening and containing with your DNA, making sure to contain all the information that's carried in your DNA. Yeah. Information, story, ancestors, lineage, dimensions. Yeah, you know, I was double checking on the on the root uh, the root uh, language for the root sound for the DNA and where it comes from and just reminding myself that it stems from deoxyribose nucleic or nuclear or, or molecular level. The deoxyribose nucleic uh, is a molecular carrier carrying information, right? DNA carrying information, carrying memory. Right, it was memory. It's memory. It's um, and within the DNA. You know how sometimes you are. You might be. You may have been a professional athlete, and because you're training and you're working out and you got this practice, your body remembers like muscle memory. Where do the muscles come from? They come from the DNA. Okay, and all the remembering. So when you're doing this muscle memory. After a while, it's it's because of your DNA. All right, um, that your DNA has a memory in it, has the has the ability to store memory, store energy, store information, uh, receive the lesson, and build upon it. Um, I noticed there's a few questions coming out already. So let me just say, sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds, this is Una Flash TV. If you have a question and a desire and answer, please uh, show your face on the screen. We will bring a link so you can jump over onto the StreamYard link, thereby revealing yourself. Okay, so... Um, 
if you have a, have a lot to say or a lot of questions or a statement, come on over and we'll, we'll do it face to face. Best to always see it face to face. Let's show up. Let's show up together. And so this carrying of the information and expansion of your uh, your lineage, the expansion of your DNA, expansion knowledge. There was another, I think that's a question and I think it's a statement by, uh, let me just get on in and say hello to the sweet, sweet dear ones. Let me begin over here on the grams of instant, sweet dear ones. Color purple, hi, clean junk. Plant junkie, so so life, so so life. Welcome H two O liquid light. I believe that's a familiar name. I've uh, seen that uh, sound before. <clears throat> Someone's making a sound right now, squealing dog. <clears throat> Diani love, welcome. Kahasahi Fiona Sarai Fink Manums. Welcome again, Manam. Uh, Lori Griffs, LGP, flowing with the sea. Welcome. Paulie uh, Moe. I think that's a Moe. And, uh, of course, more myself. Uh, Cosmic, Cosmic Lily, welcome. Kayamaya, Kayamaya, Kayamaya. Myra Locke, uh, Swift. Chi, oh, that's a good one, Swift Chi. Almost was going to say Swiss cheese, but Swift Chi, all that energy. <clears throat> Moving that incredible energy. Uh, we have somebody here, a uh, new name, a new face, somebody new to, to, to meet here, Mavis. Let me get you on the screen there, Mavis, at this stage. Hello there, greetings. Hello. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Hi. Can you hear me? You yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? I think he froze. Let me text him. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Five by five, thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Alabama. Alabama. Yes. Alabama. <laughs> Bama in the great Bama. Yes. The great, the great state I of off, Bama. <laughs> I live off the great, um, the Gulf Coast. Uh, you, uh, have you ever watched the uh, Forrest Gump? Uh, Bubba Gump? Bubba Gump. <laughs> you're, yes. You're I from the land the of Bubba Gump. Gump. Area. <laughs> Yes, I am. Well, my my uh, reason for being here today is that I've been um, experiencing uh, being uh, spiritually uh, attacked. Um, and from my knowledge, I know some people call them demons, some people call them jinn. And then for the research, uh, archons, I believe they're archons. And um, since I was young, I could feel them, not them per se, but uh, spirits around me. And, um, and um, can you hear me? Hello? No, I think he lost his internet. Let me see. Let me see where he is. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. okay. I, okay. I have a question for you. 
hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I'm trying to get him back on. I know he occasionally has a little hiccup in the internet. Um, I'm going to call him. Okay. I think we have him. Okay, great. Okay, let me end my call with him. There he is. Uh, yes, uh, Mary, sorry about that, sweet, sweet, dear one, sweet, dearly beloved. I believe the entire system went overloaded. That's okay. Way too many browsers were open. A lot of browsing going on. <laughs> no worries. Maybe is some secret browsing. Okay, Mavis, hi. What's your question? Well, my question is, is uh, I've been experiencing spiritual attacks. Uh, and I'm wondering what's the best way to, uh, you know, get help for that. Um, yep. I feel like there are cons. You know, I've done my research, and it goes all the way back to there. Her, mm -hmm. You know, demons give calls. They've been called, and so um, they've been around me for quite a while. And I've did incense, I've did candles, <laughs> just. Um, but I've never had anybody to actually, you know, like pray over me. I used to be Muslim, and I know with praying, that kind of um, kept them uh, back. But I could like do my clothes and things. I could feel like a presence there um but i don't know i can't see them i can see the energy of them but not you know and i see um there's one that's like grayish black um there's a black cat that's gotten in bed with me <laughs> and uh, i just made some weird stuff um, I've seen an image of um, like a black bean with a paws. I've seen that from across. A black bean with paws. 
It looks kind of human like, but it has paws. Paws, like dog paws. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Mm, dog. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, it's 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 kind of weird what I'm expecting. So, um, and I'm trying yeah. to, uh, and they cause it, it's havoc, causing havoc, you know. So I think I lost you again. Mauta, can you hear us? Yes, I hear yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Una flash. Where did he go? <laughs> yes, rut row Scooby. <laughs> Yep, he he disappeared. Yeah. So I think we'll we'll pivot uh, for a moment. I keep you guys entertained for a bit. Mavis, how exactly did you find Huna Flash and the House of Huna? Um, Aaron Lyon. I was uh -huh. Aaron Lyons. I love her. Mm -hmm. And then I saw him on uh, Black Magic three sixty three. Yeah. And I felt like I said, this guy is really, really powerful. He can help me, I think. <laughs> yeah, he knows a lot of stuff. Yeah, and I and I felt that. And actually, he was like, vote for me. Um, for the, yeah, he said, uh, vote for me for the uh, Conscious Awards. And I did. I actually voted for him. Yeah. Just by hearing him speak uh, those uh, two times. Uh, with Aaron and then Black Magister 63. And I just always felt when I first saw him that he was very powerful and that he has a wall, can't nobody, you know, can't get through that wall. He's very powerful. And then I was watching and he showed his dragon and I actually thought I seen the eyes blink on the dragon. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dragon is listening. <laughs> it's so funny. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, did I really see that? Let me rewind this and go mm -hmm. back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've just been having a lot of issues with that. And, um, and it's hard to get. I, I don't have anybody to really talk to about it because uh, I feel like they're not happy. Mm. Uh, spiritually, um, but it, it's in our family. A lot of us, um, you know, I have a sister that can see ghosts, you know, um, they can feel things as well, like me, but we really don't talk about it, you know, um, and I, we kind of like, this is not real, it's not really happening on a spiritual basis, and so I try to find out any spiritual information that I can. And I know there is people who are experiencing these things is documented, you know? And uh, so I'm one of the people and I let my heart feel open. You know, I left it in. Um, uh, they come in and come in because, you know, I was doing drugs and that's how it they come in that way, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, if, you, if you don't know how to protect your org field or your spirit, then and when you get all in that, you're not protected. You know, you don't know how to protect yourself. That's how they speak in, in the, um, you know, in church and the Christian and believing in, you know, Christianity and protecting myself that way. And I didn't have any issues like that. Um, and being able to feel, you know, spirits around me. that was the biggest. And um, and when I ventured off into that, that's what happened with, you know, it started from there. And I've been dealing with this for like 20 years, actually. Mm -hmm. And 
and just trying to get at it and just studying about it. And then, like I said, being um, uh, dealing with Islam, it was a protection, you know, praying five times a day. And so I wasn't so much attacked, but I don't practice it any. Hmm. I think hopefully, hopefully the computer's restarted and it's all good now. Hopefully, hopefully. fingers crossed. <laughs> I will leave uh, the rest of the computer alone. Just That's a good idea. One channel. <laughs> Apologies, sweet, sweet dear and sweet dearly beloveds. Uh, it's just such as the nature lately. Am I right? The, uh, the DNA being affected, including the computer's DNA. Um, CME and sp sunspots as uh, as as what what they may be. Um, go ahead, Mavis. And so you and I, I was sharing. Okay, so you know it's a DNA thing, right? Okay. The icons were uh, input into the DNA of uh, another interference run way back in way back in the day, uh, quarter million years ago, mm -hmm. well, or less. And so it's also a, a DNA thing, not just only not only just in the in, theory, in the field, the magnetic field, or even the the, the energy, uh, light energy and consciousness, but some some of the races were also input with the the um, Archon and the Anunnaki DNA strands. Right. Okay. Um, and maybe what you were going through. Uh, because I, I didn't know, maybe some of you know or not, but I shared before that the um, Anunnaki or and draconian and other reptilian and archon DNA uh, was <clears throat> um, added into certain tribes and certain peoples uh, mm. for enslavement. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, like for instance, the Zionists, Jews, these Jews, these Hebrew, uh, those of the uh, of the Ashkenazi Hebrews, were coded with ten strand DNA. Uh -huh. They were coded with Archon. They were attacked with the Archon, with the Archon DNA at the Garden of Eden, at the laboratories of Eden. Okay, so when when the, when the Archon input their DNA into them, it caused them to be taken over and it caused them to become um, stagnant at 10 strand DNA. So, and not only that, they actually, they don't, they actually don't want to do anything about that. Oh, wow. Just to I me, mean, just to expand on what you're going through mm -hmm. and what many have been going through. Now I was in Jerusalem in a little town called Savat and we sat with the rabbi when I, you know, was going through emotions with the rabbi and uh, questions and he's sharing information and then, you know, we were sharing information and, you know, we confirmed that he was 10 strand DNA. He confirmed it as well um, by the 10 strand DNA through the Sephirot as part of their um, geomet geometry, part of the, their geometry connecting. Now they, uh, and, and he explained they do not want to move into higher codes. Don't you think that's kind of, you know, don't you think that's kind of um, unfair? Well, I suppose, well no, well, I, su I suppose it's kind of, um, um, controlling. Controlled, yeah, that makes sense. It's controlling. It's it's a con mm -hmm. control, right? Like, like they don't want to ascend, right? Let me bring on while, while we're having this conversation. Let me bring Vicky in too while she's there. If, okay, just, you know we can all have this conversation. Hi, Vicky. Right. Hi. Vicky and Mavis. Hi. Um, yeah, so I don't know what you're hearing, Vicky, but 
you know, and Mavis that the Archon codes were input into the heap into certain European families that became part that became Zionist and the uh, Kazarian and Ashkenazi uh, mm. Jews who who had this idea that everybody has to be has to rem has to be enslaved. Everybody has to be uh, manipulated. Mm -hmm. They were going to do the manipulating. What is your, what is your, uh, what do you say to that? I feel that. I feel like it's um, controlling. It's unfair. Why would you uh, try to um, you know, infiltrate my body and my mind, you know, because um, I've had thoughts in my head to do things that's out of my nature, but I don't fall for that. I don't go for it. It's just not my nature. That's not me. You know, I had an instance where I had a uh, someone, and there was a whisper saying, I had some coffee, a poor coffee in this lady's face. I don't even know her. Why would I do that? I don't have nothing against you know, why would I do that? And it's other things. And my pets are affected as well. I've seen them attack my pets. You know, I've seen it. I don't have anybody to talk to about these things. And also myself, I open up myself. Incubus, sex. What is it? Incubus. Um, they've taken advantage of me that way. You know, sexually. And um, I was uh, smoking weed <laughs> and it talked to me and it said that I was from, um, they, they, they said I was from their long, uh, uh, um, they were millions of years old. He was millions of years, not millions, but he was ancient, just put it that way. <laughs> and that um, I was part of them. And that, um, and like you said, I believe it comes from the DNA, just like you said, because that resonated when he said that to me. And uh, and he said, you know, that's my wife that's doing these things to you because she's jealous because I like you. I actually heard that through smoking weed and having sex. I was having sex with this entity. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I open myself up to these things, you know. I know. <laughs> and uh, it was because I was doing, I know, it's terrible. And then I wonder why these things are bothering me, you know. And, uh, and they come in at different times. I just feel like there is a whole world of them. They're doing all dastardly okay. things, exactly. you know. And we're yeah. not, uh, uh, we're, uh, don't even know it. I'm like they're getting away with too much, too much stuff here. Yeah, because okay. Cover. So let's just check that out for a second. You know, it's um, it's a, it's doing exactly what they wanted. They they also did that to the Greeks. Yes, yes. And, uh, if you notice, um, for a bit there, you know, the Greeks were getting all up into all kinds of naughty and nasty things, bringing it to. <laughs> Bringing it to the <laughs> modern world, right? Uh, orgies yes. and all kinds of uh, pedophilia and mm -hmm. transhumanism, transhumanism, you know, the, yes. uh, exactly. sexuality, the homosexuality, yes. and wanting to be recognized as a legitimate, as a legitimate people. Right, right. Come on now. Now take a look at what's going on with the with the pronouns in the uh -huh. modern world today. That's stemming from that that period when moved into the modern world, as they say that the Greeks created the modern world. Okay, exactly. They brought all of that stuff with them too. Exactly. And what happened before then? What the Earth is what four point five billion years old. So what was going on before all of that? You well, know. Look at it like this. Okay. Um, and by the way, uh, thank you for for being um, open and, and and allowing this conversation because we're going to get deep, even deeper, right? Okay. Because if you talk about five billion, okay. ten billion, thirteen billion, 
Yes. These these icon things are, are a disease. Uh, okay. It's an infection. Yes. It's a parasite. Now, uh, look, now, yes. now think about this though, but here's also the other part to that is that dioxy dioxyribose nucleic mm -hmm. DNA carries lineage, uh, carries information of the lineage. Right. It can it can be infected. And, and causing causing information to stay and just be stuck, stay mm -hmm. where it is. Um, uh, certain 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 diseases put into it. Now, remember now, we also speak to these parasites and these diseases as our ancestors. Mm, right. Okay. Now, this this also is why people talk about. I got to clear my lineage. Yes, answer, yes, exactly. Honest. Because, uh, uh, you know, this is also part of our immunity system. Mm -hmm. Le learning, right? Learning. The natural yeah. vaccines. What, what do you call it? The, um, I forget the, the, the terminology, but it's our natural. And we learned. And we learned yeah. through it. But, you know, there is also some that do not want to learn. And want to keep it in society. So you had this this infection going exactly. in, into, into certain races, and they were put it in there. Certainly, certainly the black community being enslaved, many many tribes, right? Yes, and even yes. today. Now, it is so true. Why are they doing it? Was it doing it for the manipulation? They want they they're trying to convince us to eat our own children. And if we don't, if we if we are not, uh, we may not be conscious of it, and we are eating our own children. They might be well, feeding us exactly. our own children. Exactly. And so, let me just point at the um, uh, the Zionists and the and the Kazarians because they said they state in their ceremonies, in their occult ceremonies, that they they take a hundred thousand children a year. And um, they cycle their meat throughout the world and put it into the food, into the um, hamburgers. That yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been doing yeah. this a long time. They say they've been stating this for a long time. This, these are uh, the 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 imposter, the imposter Zionists. They are imposters, and they are of the Archon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they they. They run secretly in the dark, and nobody knows. They're in, I mean, they're not in the dark, we're just not aware of it. And um, by these being, being around me for so long, I peep their game and I see yeah. what they're doing. They use my vehicle, yeah, 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 to die exactly. <laughs> exactly. A, a carrier information, you know, DNA. Yeah. Now, if they they want to keep um, everybody or not. Like they're right. losing, they're losing this fight, they're losing this battle. You know, the more okay. of what we do and how we do it, and from 12 strand consciousness, DNA, and higher, yeah. that we are winning because people are awakening to higher consciousness. It means that we're breaking out of that. that, right. that. Now, what they did now, here's, here's in the modern times, just recently, and Netanyahu and all of them were part of this in their occult underground there. The ceremonies they have underground, and and they're stating, they there's a uh, a name that they call hu uh, humans. They they mm -hmm. gave us a name. They said we will teach you Latin, so when we teach you the Latin language, so that you, so that we can we can know who you are when you are speaking. Right. We will right. teach you Latin. Then then we will teach you. Then we will teach you. Um, then we will feed you back your own children in the hamburger meat through right. through in the, in the corporations that they that they help create or they, that right. they do. and you know they do right Israel has a lot of a lot of money in the United States they own companies and corporations food companies right I can't, you know the names this or kind of names with you know food companies food processing plants. Owned by the Zionists. Yes, and I try to eat <laughs> better, but look at me. I, I go to fast food. 
And and I and I think we started this um, archon type thing because I try to I lose job. I um when I, I try to uh, start businesses and I can't. I'll focus on it for just a minute and then I'm gone to something else. And I'm like, why can't I keep my focus? Why am I always distracted uh, from what I really want to do, you know? And I'm like stuck. If I start a job, something to come, oh, I'm aching here. Oh, I'm this, that. Just just constantly um, just bothering me. I don't know what words to, to say or how to say it. Uh, it's hey, just, look, if you if you get much of good things, shares and all the things, yeah, you can you can get inflammation. You can not feel so good. You feel yeah. lazy, stuff like that. You don't want to work out. You, you can yeah. get around. You can get around these things uh, just in your self care and personal care. You can get around these things. Um, but there yes. are things that that were put put into society um, back mm-hmm. in the days of um, of Roosevelt and Rockefeller and Sterling. Mm-hmm. And all of them, the, the so-called founding fathers of America, right. uh, who, who are those families, um, yeah. but also uh, not as, I mean, a lot of it has been busted now. A lot of it has been been found mm-hmm. out. But this is th- th- this mentality is still there. And hence, this is why the Palestine is suffering so much, because this, this is what they want to do. They want to. Right. They, they live by that 10-strand DNA. They do not want to um, mm-hmm. give they do not want to relent or give up anything. They want they want it all. Let me tell right. you, they want and they're not getting it all. Of right. course, we are winning this, but just so that you know, that's how that's how intense this is. Now, how do you get out? How do we break you out of this? You know, okay. Yeah. And, how, and how you talk about uh, you being attacked in these things? Well, yes. The more information that you learn mm-hmm. about uh, knowledge is the key here. If knowledge is the key. Knowledge is power. Literally, right. knowledge is light and action. What you yeah. cannot know, what you do not know. So mm-hmm. now that you know, kind of what just shared with you, the low, the the lower, the lower, the, the lower dimensions, um, are, are within are within the DNA. The lower dimensions of the dark is now in has mm-hmm. been in the human DNA, and that oh. part of the, the DNA is to be cleared out through ascension process. Uh, inputting knowledge into your system, right? Right, not just the physical workout and, and pr- pr- praying to the temple, but also but praying to the body of the temple. But uh, in, in terms of um, doing the sequences and protocols and processes to bring light knowledge into the body to help that process to go beyond ten strand DNA. Right. right. 12, now, now we know that many are activated in twelve strand DNA now, mm-hmm. and right? so. Um, I also, through my processes and my school of light, information there is light in action. That will help you, but also that just the fact that that the um, this year in the twenty four, um, we have an opportunity to expand from twelve up into twenty four strand DNA in the consciousness, which will will affect your your DNA and affect your physicality. Knowledge is everything. Knowledge is power. Right. Knowledge is source, energy, and light in action. Light in action, you know. Um, right. be light in action. So all you what all you need is more of the the proper information. Yes. I'm talking yes. about nutrition. I'm just talking about like um, codes. The so, codes. So, there's an undoing, there's an undoing codes, and then, mm-hmm. then there's also right um, the implement the of the code. Code. yes, undoing and then implementing the, the everybody... food that you need, basically. Go ahead, uh, Vicky. Sorry, you uh, thank you for being late. <laughs> no problem. I was just wondering, does everybody have like the template for 12? To like 24 strands of DNA? Yes, if, if humans do. We we have template for 48 strand DNA. That will take a lot more, but this is on the consciousness side until the body is ready. Wow. The body expands. So we, we go to 24 strand DNA and, and, and consciously then our body will follow. It's like everything is done in the spiritual world or in the formless and then the body will follow. And it just—it's just—it's the way it is, and it cannot be stopped. 
once once the consciousness gets the information, it translated to the physical, the body will follow it. But this is lesson. It's called lessons. You know, learn. So does uh, the so does the forty eight make you godlike? The forty eight friends does that you make know, you godlike? If you want to use God as a, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put God there. I would just say you will become super. You have superpowers. They will get active. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. You know, superpowers. Uh, God is one way, I guess, if you want to be a goddess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's I call him the creator. I, I you know, yeah, uh, you, you, you are definitely a creator, definitely. Yes. The, and I heard Gary say the all your line say all there is, and you say the nameless one, you know. And so I know that reference, the nameless one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Doing yeah. the seal uh, of the nameless one is uh, absolutely and um thereby being open and infinite, constantly discovering yourself, rediscovering yourself, mm -hmm. right? Learning yourself more, even more. The, the idea is to get to know who you are. Yeah. Now, as designers, they don't want to know who you are, and they're quite happy with what they are, being draconian and reptilian and eating, mm -hmm. eating someone else's babies. We need to convince them now to go and eat their own children. Mm -hmm. they, they've, got a, they've got a taste for, for the blood of other, other children, we have to return them back to the natural cycle of reptilian is to eat their own children. So we just got to convince them to go back and eat their own. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do. Wow. It's, natural. it's a natural thing for that right. species. Right. right? Now, now protection to the DNA is the coding of the undoing. Um, there is, there is modalities and therapies like the dragon ride. Attend, I got to tell you all, attend a dragon ride. You see any one of the Hoonas that are having a dragon ride, and like there are several of them hosting dragon rides now. There's a very powerful um, therapy, group therapy of the undoing. Mm -hmm. Help you to recognize the codes in the cycle of the nature, supernature okay. into the counterclockwise, which is the process of undoing, which is Lemurian. And also, uh, you know, I'm going to plug the Dragon Masters uh, School of Light that, that I have my teachings on, which brings all of that into focus and helps you undo the things. You do need guidance when you get to certain, you know, places where you're like, what you do not know, you cannot know. But sometimes you can remember. And it's my job to trigger your memory as well as giving you enough information to bounce, to bounce up, you know. I have a question. How does sound um, impact the DNA? Um, because I work with it with light language, and I feel like it cleanses the DNA and awakens. How, how, how does sound impact the DNA? Yeah, is that what you said? Oh, it impacts it on a huge, huge scale. You know, sound is can also flash the system. In sound, there is light. Sound is is is, is water, is breath. If mm -hmm. just let's just say you are using your breath for the sound. Inside of your breath, there is fire. Water is there is light. Hydrogen, yeah. at the very least, but much more. Uh, okay, depending on your consciousness mm -hmm. level and information that you have, depending on your word and how powerful you can amplify your word and intensify your word. Okay, so sound. Yes, if you want to assist your sound work with another implement or another. Yeah, um, uh, Amplified uh, equipment, piece of technology, you can do that too, right? So sound was used 50 years ago, maybe more, probably it's been around a while, but sound was used to disrupt kidney stones back in the day, right? They would input that sound through the body to do non-invasive surgery. Right? Non -invasive. Yeah. So in the same way, sound can impact uh, is non-invasive non um, um, ad, ad, uh, what do you call it? Non-invasive surgery, non uh, administered through non-invasive medicine. Mm -hmm. And it's also, you know, it's also uh, uh, pre pre you know medicine as well. You know, you want to take things to pre preventative medicine. Sound and light is excellent. An excellent. That's what I do. It's the work that I do. When I do the seal, I flash the system with light through my frequency sound that I push through the crown. 
when we when whenever you whenever I do this, I do it a lot, quite a lot. There's a lot of people that get it, and so yes, sound sound is a very powerful um, frequencies. You know, I I use the lower frequency, use the high frequencies. Mm -hmm. I I amplify that by this the strength of my own body, my own my own vessel is powerful enough to push uh, 10k through your body, push a oh, 10k wow. signal through your crown. Mm -hmm. Not only just can I reach 10k, but I can push it like it's pushing you with my finger. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's amazing! So bringing it through—that's how I bring it through. Mm -hmm. Through the uh, the the body, it, it, even when I apply this, I'm even when I'm not in person, I certainly more powerful when I'm, when it's in person. All right. So yes, sound sound has light, and light is light is action. It's actionable. Yeah. Hey, and the, the higher you have, the more you do the work with sound and light. The more you're opening yourself up to the cosmic and galactic energy, galactic forces of your your the, the super powerful connection, super intelligent connection to you, and learning who you are. Mm. The more you work with your sound, not just sound bowls and machines. The more you work with yours, the the more you get more powerful and reinforce the strength of your your frequencies and and vibrations. How you deliver them, the more you will get to know who you are. And you're transmitting throughout the universe. This, this is expansion. It's not just healing. It's expansion. Right. Okay. Now, now healing comes from it. And I, the, the, the focus should be expansion. The fo focus should be your sound and light is the focus that is expansion. And what comes from that is healing. Yeah. So when you're going into your med meditations, Okay, fine. Just sit there and, and you know you want to contemplate and you want to meditate and just be quiet. I I will say this: don't just sit there and be quiet. You know, there are times you can put out a sound, like a, like whatever uh, mudras you want to bring out. But certainly, pop a high frequency out there, eee! and then intensify that puppy until the upper jaw resonates the frequency without even using breath. So you have two things happening. One is breath in the lower jaw, and then the upper jaw is resonance frequency is happening at the same time. Um, because of the breath, the no breath can make a sound. That's sort of like Arabic. Um, when I was Muslim, they said if you read, if you learn Arabic and you, you read the, uh, the Quran in Arabic, more out of it, it's more powerful. It's the way you um, have to put your tongue, like you said, and the, your voice. It comes from your teeth, the top of your, the root yeah. of your, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. The, the, the jaw, the upper jaw. We call it's called the kuwaironga the kuwairaro, which is a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's right. What Richard is saying there, vibrate the palate. Yeah, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you, you do want to be able to say the intention, right? So 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 at the same time you're saying the intention and delivering those frequencies while you're speaking. Now oh. you, you want to speak Lemurian because or even Arabic and even the Hebrew because they are part of the Lemurian sound. And oh. you want to speak that language because it will help um bring these frequencies out much more clearly much more powerfully than just English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. English. English drops off and it dies. Right? Oh, Lemurian, wow. Lemurian frequencies carry through, right, Arabic. And that's why you can hear. You listen to Arabic and, and even Hebrew or uh, Native American singing, uh, Nordic, Viking, all of them, they're all part of the Lemurian sound. They can carry through. Yeah. Put power behind it. All it needs is energy. So just be the energy, right? So I, when I was, I, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Vicky. I just yeah. wanted to say. So I actually sing in light language. That's actually my medicine. It's the sacred songs, and yeah. I 
I had to explore with it, like experiment with it. But as I do it more, I feel like I find um, that energy and that resonance and it feels so amazing. But I, I always felt like sometimes it's not just for people, but it gets sent elsewhere <laughs> and yeah. they receive it. And it's like this beautiful exchange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Now, when you do a, your your light sound song, your sound um, is it? Are you Chinese? Do you speak Chinese or Korean? Uh, or? I uh, I speak Chinese, but when I sing and do light language, it's my own version of it. Like so it's my soul not, language. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah, human yeah. language. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yes, and so yes, uh, uh, Huna, right. mother is also saying yes, Tibetan, Tibetan. And, and and you you probably in those sounds right from your from from let me say Asia your your sounds are probably crossing over in Mongolian Tibetan uh, Japanese uh, the Hakka yes, the language of the Hakka it's probably the right yeah because that's Lemurian I can hear <laughs> it so yeah um so I actually wanted to ask you also uh, my my ancestry is Chinese um is there a connection to Lemurian? I don't think I've heard you talk about Absolutely. Um, oh yeah, I was just yeah, I was just saying it because even what Chinese were you took the title after your tangata which means you took the title Chinese from after your ancestor the ancestor Qin, right? Qin mm -hmm. and you got China. If no Qin, no China. <laughs> right? Of course, because your 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 country is named after the Emperor Qin, right? Yeah. Became China. Now, what was he? Five thousand? What was he? Five thousand years ago? Maybe a little less. Yeah, maybe five thousand years now. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, well, maybe not that. Sorry, not that long ago. But but all tribes up up and towards Qin spoke um, the Hakka. I know the Hakka language and the Mongolian and and there's influences of um, there was a people known as the Hamda, Hamda the Hamda people, yeah. which were down near um, across from Taiwan, mm -hmm. but on the mainland. And the civilization back then called the Hamda people. They also made connections to New Zealand seven thousand years ago. Right? They came in and they came across. They came across to the all the way across, and came over came over through the Pacific and then went over to the Americas. The Hamda people. And into mm -hmm. Africa, so you do have the lineages connect from the African, China, Africa, okay. Asian bloodline, and the Hamda people did a lot of that traveling. They even had family name. I think the family names that they also included Maui, the name mm -hmm. Maui in their people, wow. which is wow. most well known from the movie Moana, <laughs> but but <laughs> <they're Polynesian. laughs> um, but so before Chin. And then mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I don't know the exact uh, navigation and rotation of the language that you speak today with mm -hmm. Mandarin, Cantonese, and, and some others uh, in the mix. But I know that before, the sound was you could definitely get Mongolian and the Hakka language, which is a root language for Japan. Mm -hmm. Jap or one of the root languages for the Japanese language is the Hakka. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're in the bloodline of the Hakata. Hakka today is is about 140 million of you that are surviving the Hakka nation people, 140 yes. million that are scattered. But, yeah. Sometimes, to like when I when I sing, I, I I didn't know why before, but I would see these visions of the Mongolian plains. Mm -hmm. But I I've never been there, but now it would make sense why. <laughs> And then I've also heard you break down certain Lemurian um, sounds or syllables. And I don't think consciously when I sing in light language, it just flows. Um, if I think it just, the magic is gone. So, but then I started to break it down a little bit, just as like, hey, there's a lot of words that yeah. come through me that comes through you. <laughs> it's very similar. Yeah, break, break it down. Uh, it's not a mind thing. <laughs> allow, allow your mind to be a tool to help you, mm -hmm. help you dissect a few things and have fun with it mm -hmm. because you know, there's some discoveries there. There's a lot mm -hmm. of discoveries there. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with discovery. And then work with it and, and apply it 
and um, free yourself. You can free yourself that way from being judgmental to your own self. You know, you talk about, oh, my mind, because I'm going to think about it. Well, you're just judging yourself. So you already, <laughs> so, so it's okay to dissect something to learn it, you know, and, and you got the languages the, the language is incredible. I would suggest go to Mongolia, go to the Gobi Desert. Mm -hmm. I would suggest go there and sing. What an amazing yeah. place. Yeah. We, we did ceremony there and we sang. And um, resonation. So, and there's the ancestors in the stone that affect you as well. All mm -hmm. around you in the mountains, right? The, 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 the ancient DNA... Uh, uh, you see many faces in the stone. Those are ancient ancestors of um, who support you in the modern times and in the ancient times. That's so exciting. Yeah, I I don't, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a linguistic expert, but I know that yeah, Korean and yeah. and 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 uh, Thai and the Tagalog, mm -hmm. Filipino language of the Tagalog, um, Tagalog uh, language, all very very incredible Lemurian sounds, very mm. round, very, very um, heartwarming sounds. Mm. You know? Is it possible for sound, especially light language, to also, I feel like it sometimes opens portals. No, if I'm, it, yeah, okay. Of course, <laughs> yeah, of course it does, because I, again, this is the reason why you, you want to learn to dissect and um, learn um, Precise ceremony, a ceremony that have pres that that will will carry precisely your intention. Mm -hmm. and, and if you you're saying, okay, don't accidentally open a portal. Open a portal. Okay. Don't accidentally <laughs> do it. Have an intention to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will invite you to be nice though, and be nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring through energy that's going to be nice. Like uh -huh. for instance, the hummingbird naturally opens portals birds the, the animals in the forest they naturally open portals for transferring energy across the entire globe right. that's how they send, that's how they send them one of the ways they send information we've I've mm -hmm. seen this been in nature to work with it you know and some of them have been hijacked some yeah. of the portals get hijacked and then used for nefarious reasons sending mm -hmm. other dark messaging through there so that's why I say to you have have the intention to open something, be mm -hmm. that powerful, not a god, just just the uh, access to the information, yeah, and, okay. and empower yourself, huh? witness it too, or have it witnessed. Is that the same as like accessing information in our DNA, like with using it, the it, sound? It, it, it is connected mm -hmm. to your DNA because your DNA is connected to higher dimension consciousness and to your mm -hmm. higher self. It's connected to the future. Mm. It's connected to the future. Mm -hmm. You start mm. opening portals and things like that and keep it to your highest vibration. We want to serve that which is the highest mm -hmm. and then allow it to rise. It's rising from and coming from or rising to your higher self. Now, mm -hmm. that's you and that is all of what you is, DNA, mm -hmm. Yeah, now, you have DNA in the formless, too, by the way, <laughs> not just in the form. So the Why DNA, the form, well, because light is action, mm -hmm. and, and light can also be formless, right? And, and mm -hmm. so it, it also is very, uh, you can, with the nine senses, as you practice the nine senses, you, you can access it both very physical, it's very physical, even mm -hmm. though you can't see it, like, like magnetics. Like mm -hmm. a magnet. Magnetic, you can't see it, but look, it's pushing things around or pulling things, but you can't mm -hmm. see it. So it's like energy then? The DNA is the same thing. Mm -hmm. huh? Mavis? Go ahead, Mavis. I, I was saying, is it like energy, the formless part of your DNA? Is it Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Your your DNA has a formless side. Okay, here's, here's one for you. Stand mm -hmm. in front of the mirror. Because you both are of the feminine gender, you're going to see the feminine, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Looking in the mirror. But you, you know today, this is why you know this, the feminine has risen. 
so has the masculine. When you stand in front of a mirror, you can see yourself, but you also know there's your masculine side. But you can't see it in the mirror, but you can feel it. Mm. You know yourself. Okay. Okay. So if, if it's not reflect, doesn't matter whether it reflects or not. You this is information is powerful. Yeah. So you know that okay, I'm a feminine uh, and I have my masculine. Know that you you know that you're on both sides of this while you look at yourself in the mirror, that you, you can actually engage, you can engage your masculine to, to the same balanced level as you are in this form as you are now. Okay. So what is this argument of of genders and what is this argument of pronouns and what is this argument of feminine rising? Because the feminine rises, she has to take the masculine with her because it's her masculine. So the masculine mm -hmm. rises. If the masculine is looking at himself in the mirror, he's he's doing what the masculine does. He's also feeding that to the feminine side. He's also uh, raising her up because he's raising himself up. So we're both basically. <laughs> yeah. 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 We have been, and we have to recognize this is it's not just balance. It's that energy, vibration, frequency, the magnetics, um, is being is is being okay is being um, put into action with the one voice. Wow. So that's what it means about divine feminine, divine, uh, your divine masculine and divine feminine, feminine, feminine put, self. <laughs> but these two energies have one voice. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. So you have, the, you have the feminine, you have the masculine, but you only have one mouth. <laughs> one, one in, in. So when you are speaking, allow yeah. that to speak into the highest vibration. That that so that mm -hmm. not about just being in balance, but so that whatever it is you're going to do, right, have it to be assisting. That 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 intention comes from all of your energy, not just the feminine, if you are feminine, or not just the masculine, if you are masculine. Someone to say yes, androgynous, androgynous. Yeah, that's okay, fine. There is that, but majority is 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 the majority is this even even andro androgynous uh, mm -hmm. as well. You could I, I wouldn't say androgynous in the spirit. I wouldn't. No, I would say the child, and the voice of the child is the voice of the future. I see. Also, I wanted to ask, because sometimes I speak what, I don't know if it's light language or not, but sometimes I'll speak uh, like a different language, and it comes from the heart. Sometimes I cry with it. It's like, I don't know if that's my language or what. Well, well, of course it is. African language is light language. Ubuntu, oh. Zulu, Swahili, Kosa, um, all of it is light language. It's a natural light language. My language, the indigenous language of the indigenous peoples, it's light okay. language. Now, yeah, right. Now, when I listen to a lot of times when I have listened to uh, um, mm -hmm. that sound, and you say you come to tears, because I, mm -hmm. I I feel like a lot of times in that light language that you're speaking, the ancestor is speaking, and there is pain. Yes, speaking. pain is speaking. Now, yes. you have control of this pain. Mm -hmm. You do. Mm -hmm. You have control of this pain and sorrow. We call it the muki muki. Mm -hmm. You have absolute control over the muki muki. So, I, and I understand that it's a place where you may be beginning to to understand your light language. Right. The muki muki is uh, can, the muki muki can be soft and furry. Mm -hmm. The muki muki can have teeth. Yes. The muki muki can have, of course. Uh, uh, Compassion and the muki muki can be very angry, and mm -hmm. either way, the muki muki is very powerful. Mm 
Uh, it's just a drive that drives the tears of a dragon. So you're speaking dragon. When you speak the light language in certain ways, there's dragon energy involved here. Uh, uh, the, the language of land, water, sky, which is very powerful. You know, I've had this since I was a child. I would speak this when I was a child. And mm. so when I was six years old, I would sleep in the living room. It was next to the kitchen. And I heard one night, I heard a beat, bam, bam. And I wouldn't wake up for five days straight. I heard a knock on the floor. And so finally, I, my six year old self said, Let me go ahead and see what this is. And so I turned and I saw a lot being it was like that like he had on a, um, a shepherd he looked like a shepherd and he had a staff and when I looked at him he disappeared and he, he never came back and nobody else seen her the beat for those five days I'm the only one that heard it in the house and seen it <laughs> and I don't know what that light being but I call it a ghost but or it could have been an angel I don't know, but that's how it looked to me. And then after that, that's when I started feeling um, spirits around me. After that, I don't know what kind of was was yeah, I being yeah. activated, or I don't know. I, mean, I can I can hear what you're saying, but also you may be calling the men. You see, also when you're calling from the sound that has the muki muki and the pain and sorrow, you're also calling in the ancestors, all beings around you. So that's why I say, you know, it's it's okay to dissect and and mm -hmm. not just think about. It. You want to record what you're saying and listen to it. Go back over mm -hmm. and dissect each sound. You know, you do you mm -hmm. you want to have a knowledge of yeah. what am I doing? You know? Oh yes. why am I being attacked? <laughs> you know? And, and, and mm -hmm. you just did something that could could uh, bring about a visit, you know. You could exactly. be getting visits. Uh, so uh, you really want to do that. It's not a mind thing. It's not about, you know, mm -hmm. being <laughs> impure or uh, impure light language. There's no such thing. Light language is light language. There's nothing, nothing wrong with having a knowledge of it. You want to. You want to translate the language. You want to translate when somebody is speaking light language. I do that. Yes. I do that. I, you know, I have I had a habit of doing that a lot in the years, earlier years. I don't do it so much anymore mm -hmm. because I, I just, you know, I'll just read their energy anyway. Well, I'm going to anyway, but um, break those down so that you can also have an understanding of what you're hearing from somebody else, you know. And you may be able to help them if you can translate something for them and say, oh, this means this and that and this and this, yeah. is, this is what you're saying. You know, you, you may be, you may not be a hundred percent correct, mm -hmm. but you know, do these things until you are. You, you know, it's a witnessing and a confirmation comes from outside of you anyway. So, um, it's a good practice to connect to who you are. I knew when I um, watched Erin Lines and she spoke the light language, I felt some kind of way. When she started speaking to it. it touches, it touched my heart, and every time she. I feel like I feel good and it touches me and I start speaking myself <laughs> you know and I feel really good and it um, it has made me cry too and I never you know uh, emailed her and let her know how I feel when she did that she did also with another lady and I cried I felt so like in touch with that you know it was beautiful. beautiful. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's, that's and I'm so grateful for for um Erin and um and she yeah. brought so many of her wonderful friends uh, together. Yes, us to, me too. Yeah, you made it back, Vicky. Uh, did you find did. something out? Did you I, find out I, something I, on the way out and on the way back? <laughs> the energy was so strong it like crashed my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somebody just mentioned Runa Flash, you are so powerful, boom, and you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's just, yeah, things are um just you know, just just an FYI over these coming days, technology is going to be challenged in a huge way. You know. Mm -hmm. 
and and, and uh, uh, we need to upgrade. I just upgraded to Starlink, and it's still getting kicked around. Um, I need to go to the another level of within it. But yeah, you got you're gonna have to pay attention to our stuff. Um, little announcement from um, Una Tamaki. I will be on Aaron's show again, March 29th, on Aaron Lyons' show. Oh, cool. I will be tuning in for sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Vicki, is there anything else? Uh, yes, I have a question. So um, it's about the history of Lumaria. Did it sink and rise several times, which is what made the Lumeria one, two, three, four? Okay. Yes. And, okay. and somebody just spoke about it today on, I think, their Facebook or something. They said they went, they were in the Pacific and they said that they noticed some swelling energy happening in the middle of the Pacific. Uh, I don't know if they were scientists. I, I can't remember if they're scientists or if they're on a plane doing some scientific research uh, with a with a plane or whatever. And they said that uh, it looks like the Pacific is – energy is just rising up out of the center. And, you know, uh, we said hundreds of years ago that La Maria was going to return. And New Zealand is, is a major part of it. New Zealand's uh, land mass is rising. I said part of New Zealand's land mass has risen two meters. Okay, over the last fifteen years, it's really? pretty amazing. So we've and our and our prophecies is the return of Lemuria. We've spoken of it. So we've been expecting the the Pacific to start swelling. Mm -hmm. you know, we've been expecting it. Um, it may it may be a bit catastrophic to outlying lands, but that's what it is. It's returning. Now, um, what did you just say? You just uh, you just you said some. Sorry, I lost track of what you said. Um, what I just said? Oh, yeah, I was just saying if um, Lumaria uh, sank oh, and rise like several okay. times. So it did four times. The first oh. time uh, New Zealand was together with with Ma with Hawaii, that was first first Lemurian civilization. Okay, now we're we're, we're in Lemuria five now. Mm -hmm. Lemuria four. Um, came down in the Gulf of Mexico and it created the Gulf of Mexico when it fell. Now, the reason why I moved here, I was there when it fell as another being. I was in Lemuria 4 when it fell. I was saving children, saving beings right. when it fell. That was uh, 60 million years ago, roughly. Um, then uh, we had a meeting. The Kumaras came in, Sanat Kumara, the Kumaras, which are the Council of the Light of Days, the seven Kumara had a meeting, says, yes, we will reinsure. We're going to ensure that Lemuria rises again. It will be the fifth time, and we will ensure that it will be the last time Lemuria has to return, that the frequencies have to be reset. Mm -hmm. We are in the undoing stage mm -hmm. and in the reset stage. My work is all about undoing and resetting the frequencies of the Stargates, reassigning their numbers because they are numbered in different sequences now not like the old like some have been saying not the same <laughs> and so um this is a this is a place where we're at that's my main work like, mm -hmm. my main, and the seal aligning the seal the, aligning everybody that i work with to that mission to undo what doesn't serve to align to the highest frequency and to engage light in action Correct. Or the planet. So I we are in Lemuria 5 now. People want to say a, a, a age of Aquarius, and I've spoken about this before. You can say whatever you want, okay, but you're in planet number 5 now. Uh -huh. That cannot be denied because uh -huh. Gaia was planet number 4, uh -huh. and Gaia is no more. Gaia is raised. Gaia is ascended. We all know that. Well, many know that. I, some don't want to let it go, but. <laughs> you can still call her Gaia, but if you're going to still call her Gaia, you might as well still call her Tara because the first planet was Tara. Tara. Okay, so these are moments. So Tara, Maya, Tara. Sophia, Gaia, or, or Ha'ia is the way to say it. Now Matea. No. Five. And we guaranteed yeah, that this was going to take place. 
you know. So it's yeah. not it's not that the information is coming through. It's kind of indirect and roundabout through the zodiacs and the Gregorian in a way, but it's it's all stuck in distortion. So we don't, we try not to. We definitely don't don't work with the zodiacs in that astrology anymore. Well, we don't. Definitely. We work with the Lemurian. All all is the Wataka. We work with the Wataka. Okay? We work with the Wataka. That's aligned to the supernature of this planet. And and the planet number five. Mm. And so so Aquarius has returned to the DNA, meaning the voice has returned. Okay, so, so Aquarius has come out of the zodiac and out of the sky back into the the, the, the car system of the body, meaning you got your voice back now. That was that was the whole impetus for Gaia or Haya. Haia is how to pronounce Gaia properly. When you say Haia, you are saying uh, um, the return of the sacred breath. That's what it means. Haia. 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 Yeah, not Gaia, because it's not Gaia. You don't put, you have to speak the ancient sound, the old sound, even before the Hebrew. And this sound is Ha'ia. And Ha'ia in Lemurian means the return or go to the sacred breath. Return or go to, but be of the sacred breath. That took place because it took all that time for us to get back to the right speaking, to speaking the right. You know, you know that. You're in it now. You're in the right speaking now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, H-A-I-A. Ha means first breath. Yeah means either go to or come to. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a challenge. Return to the sacred breath. That oh. took a challenge. That took a long time. And we did it. Now, what took over, what comes in now is the is the, uh, the the new light, Matea. Matea mm-hmm. is now. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and exactly uh, Huna Tomaki is saying why the birth signs have switched from zodiacs to the motu. So no longer is the zodiac. You can be with the zodiac if you want. I don't care. It, it, we're with we're with nature, and when we are with nature, we are we with we are with the beings of medicine. And this month is the turtle. This month is the Honumotu. That is in alignment with the sacred breath and the new light. Uh. It's in alignment with the new light. Are you not in alignment? Okay, if you are in alignment with the new light, there's the, the breath has changed. The speaking has upgraded. So in the speaking that is upgraded, the old sounds from Gaia, from the challenge, became distorted. What happens when you get into a contest in a, in a competition, right? Everybody gets a bloody nose or a broken jaw. You get into a fight. This, this distortion, that's what challenges are, right? They have this distortion. It becomes distorted because the fight took place. Then you have to leave the fight and go and clean up and wash your face and get all fixed up and heal. And this I is where like, we are. Oh, that's where we are now. <laughs> that's where we are now. Yeah. I feel like we're in a transitional like phase where we are oh, like having to clean up all that. That's what I just said. Yeah. And all those words I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So when I say Wataka, and when I say Wataka, it's saying all of that. Or what it's a Wataka. What? It is the system of first love through the crystal stone, the first stone, and through the intention of the first born. So everything is returning to the first principle. This is what Wataka means. That's why we work with the Wataka system. It is about everything, first principle of love, first principle of the first stone, which is the crystal prism, crystal cure, crystal, crystal Christ light, and mm-hmm. um, and and the codes of the firstborn, the child, the innocence. That's yeah. what Wataka is. It's not a calendar. It's an operating system. Yeah, somebody down here, Donny Lou, I say, oh, come on, man. Okay, Donny Lou, you can leave. Why don't you just go? You don't want to know? Right. Don't want to know? Now, look, Donny Lou's going, oh, much love and light to the stream. Oh, after 
after saying something like that. Now, look, see, now that's distortion. That's coming from the time of the leftovers from Gaia, right? Mm -hmm. there, are, there are those holding out from over Gaia because they're still used to, they're still used to that competition that, you know, that struggle and that fight, right? Yeah, I has, I has ascended. And so you have these people who are trolling and they just want to, you know, or they and, and say these nasty things because that's what they, that's where they are at. And they will not. They're available to enter. Everybody is, is open to enter into the highest. But they, you cannot if you're still acting that way, right? Trying to pull other people down. That's why I was wondering why the archons were such a distraction to us. Of course. It's disease. Mm. So the archons are a disease. Yes. Okay. Okay. They're trying to keep like as pull as many people as keep them in the old old world. Old yeah. world. Of, of um, course. Yeah. Of course, when when um People are genuinely, authentically sharing. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody and people in a community is is ascending and genuinely sharing information, go ahead and join them. Mm -hmm. Right, be with them as you are being here with with myself, and I'm on it. Trust me, mm -hmm. I, it took me forty years to come to sit here with you. I'm almost well. I am sixty, but it took all these, all this, all of this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, now there's another explanation from from Danny Lou. Uh, just, that's the problem. Also, we can miss information as well, which is pretty rampant these days, right? Mm -hmm. um, but as we are here in this community, yeah, go to the communities where where you are feeling. The authentic and the genuine new information, ancient, ancient new information. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say necessarily new age because I know there are some things to that, but but ancient new is the information right. I'm hearing. A return to the golden age. Or, or yeah. Not create the golden age. It's already created. We already right. just be there, you know. It's that like makes go to the place, to the place mm -hmm. before confusion, right. and your DNA is there. We're just basically open up to it because the knowledge is so huge, and we only know just a little of it. Hey, um, I think we're ready for a a uh, putting out, having a break, and putting out the information and sharing our information of the Hunas and their dot earth programs so i want to thank you too okay, for hanging out with me we, we dragged you, and up. i voted for you too for the first conscious for the second conscious award as a spiritual leader sorry i voted for you for the first the second conscious awards for the oh. spiritual leader oh thank <laughs> you this is oh thank you <laughs> that's that's so much fun have a good time with all that we're going, we're going to be right back, sweet, sweet, dear one, sweet, dearly beloveds. Thank you. Share Thank some you of this uh, okay. good God Earth stuff we have. Thank you, Vicky and Mavis. Uh, Mavis, what was your Huna? Huh? What was your Huna? You, did you get sealed? No, I didn't. Oh, you and I, I had a conversation, right? You and I. Yes. We had yes. Talk. Okay. okay. I, I spoke with Huna. Who, who, uh, no, we haven't yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm planning on. <laughs> I'm planning on. That's been. Yeah. I was just trying to remember whether we did or not, but I know we spoke, so it has to be a decision we had. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let, let's take a little break here. Sweet, sweet dear ones, hang in there, and uh, we'll be right back. Oh. Thank you, Vicky.
Need some Reiki or Rife energies? Or perhaps you need some Lemurian healing products? If you are in the UK, look no further than Huna Kaha Tolta at www.hunashealings.earth. Tetrahedrons and obelisks for your on-site ceremonies, handmade and coated with Kotahora crystal dust by Huna Hikahima. Shipping is available worldwide at www.shiningstar.earth. Oracle readings rooted in the Lemurian operating system. Get your oracle reading with Huna Kahasahi at www.flc.earth. Live online journeys, energy clearing modalities, and sound healing sessions for new families with Huna Kahiwaha. Head to www.rl5.earth. Great to see you again, sweet, sweet, daily, sweet, 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 dear ones. Get that out of my mouth. Daily beloveds, uh, let me just uh, recognize you here. We got a few more that popped in while we were conversing and having having such a good time. Okay, over here on the, uh, coming through the YouTube, Etwa from Canada. Namari uh, Hirimata, excuse me. <clears throat> Huna uh, Marewaka, the Black Dragon. And Huna Hitumata, Land of the Nethers. <laughs> Louise Wawa, Kelly, uh, greetings to you from uh, Nic Nicaragua. Thank you for coming all this way across the internet. Waritusa, hi, la, love to you, Waritusa, Wawa, Huna Matarana, Kirsty, great, Haneke, uh, protect our DNA, how? Okay, that was a question, yeah. Huna Tari Tarire Kuya, Tarire Kuya, Huna Tarire Kuya, over there in the Rocky Mountains, hi, Huna. We're, we've got that meeting coming up this week. Let's, let's talk soon. Alan, Wawa, Rex, hi. Uh, Ruya McCall, hello to you over there in, um, in, in Bama, Alabama. Feminine, masculine, uh, one love, my ninja. <laughs> my ninja. Gain, Aka, Akatali, Akatali, upgrades. Aloha to you from all you have in Makaha. Aloha, brother Shala Wilson and Kirsty uh, uh, Grace. Uh, hi, Grace. Avalon Serify. St. Pat was made up character that crushed the sacred pagan traditions of the Emerald Isle. Nothing to celebrate. You should question why you are giving away your energy to that celebration. Good questions. Good comments. Always question, I suppose. Whitney, nice to meet you. Some new names here. Um, and also, hi, Katya. Uh, Lazy Blue. Claudio Esteban. Why is this important? Will planet Earth be destroyed? End of cycle? No. Nope. Won't be. It won't be. It's important that we're rising, Claudio. So, okay. I don't feel that that's happening. Yeah. Steve Lightwork. Okay, thank you very much. I, I know there's a lot of names. Let me also bring them over. Bring over the from the grams of instant. Uh, just try to move this screen around a little bit. From the grams of instant over here. Where are we? Yes. Um, 
so grateful to the Hunas and their new their new dot earth websites and their their businesses and putting together their <clears throat> all of their modalities and, and customizing customizing their modalities it's amazing to to see all that happening now um <clears throat> Okay, uh, right, Arizona. Okay, right, Arizona over there on the grams of instance. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I need to let it populate a bit. Let's see, I'll let it do that. Savon, there's a new name. Oh, Savon, you have made mindcoach.earth Instagram inspired by myself. Thank you, Savon. We'll have to check that out. Una Tamaki, mindcoach.earth. Okay. Um, yes, so all the wonderful new modalities, the Lemurian modalities, uh, protocols and and um, codes and systems that have not been on Earth for hundreds of thousands of years have returned again. Stargates and portals that are opening in the cosmic and the cosmos and the galaxy that have not been open for hundreds of thousands of years. This started happening a number of years ago, but just uh, sharing that with you anyway quite aware of what took place um so the dna uh if you have a question sweet sweet that one's come along we've got space to take you to have a uh, hang out and make maybe you got a statement maybe you have a question come on over and have a conversation with me um somebody's i'm not sure what is that can the teacher please ask about upcoming solar eclipse and these harvesting energies? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah we were going to touch on some of that. Um, might as well now um, with the eclipse coming in. There is a geometry. Um, let's let's kind of maybe check in on that. Um, as most eclipse, there is a draw like a. Uh, what do you call it? A drawing of the energy from the planet as these things happen, uh, and and residue. There's also like a purging, if you allow, if you allow this this pur this draw to be more like a purging, to uh, allow the distorted energies, the left the residue, leftover residue energy to be purged out of the planet. Um, Maybe I could invite Huna Tamak here, if uh, if willing to to share a little bit about this as well. We were talking about the trajectory of the eclipse. And yeah, yeah. I don't have any of the geometries ready. That might be something that you and I need to sit with, uh, and we can talk about it more on another show. Um, but what I've been picking up on is the path of this eclipse and it might be all of the eclipses it's just taking energy to somewhere else so all of the work that we do all of the protocols that we engage in when we go out to the land the water and the sky there's gifts that come back from that and then the gifts taken to the next place and there's this threading that's happening on turtle island and with this threading there are two cross points that this eclipse will hit one Huna will already be at one. And I was getting the really strong nudge today. And I, yeah. I have to share, like, there's some new information I have to share with you, Huna Flash, about okay. what the hummingbird just did. Um, oh. So I'm being called to go to the forest. And I've been getting called to go to the forest. So on this, the 18th of February, I was standing outside of a restaurant waiting for this guy here and some other Hunas. And I was with Kahiwaha. We were talking about something completely unrelated. And then the hummingbird flies in and is flying mm. around the tree. In February, mm. this is not normal. Yeah. So they will show up in the in, in Felicia. I see Felicia here. This happened to her. And she came on the live with us about the ruby-throated hummingbird that showed up in the middle of winter. Mm. And I completely got pulled out of my conversation. It took me about two or three minutes to remember what I was even talking about. And I asked the question, do we have permission to enter the forest? And it flew towards us in a way. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, 
I don't know what forest I'm going to. So today I realized Shawnee National Forest, which Shawnee is through my mother's side, is in the path of the eclipse right outside of Carbondale, Illinois. So maybe that's the forest I'm called to go to. Well, we had other Hunas doing ceremony today out in the Western America and out in Vancouver, including Kahiwaha. Yep. And I told both of them, if anything weird happens to the hummingbird, let me know. Cause I just asked direct permission. Now that I like, I don't want to do it willy nilly. I, I have the intention. Okay. If I'm being called to do this, I'm asking permission for me and any of the other Hunas that go with me. And right after you mentioned on here, oops, Right after you mentioned on here that the hummingbird opens portals, I have to share this with you. If I can click the right button, yep. share my screen. This is a picture that was sent to me right after he said <laughs> the hummingbird opens portals. That popo, that that ancestor pole, that is an eagle on the top. That is the swale yep. tooth, I believe. Yes. And did you guys see? Who is sitting on top of that? It's still cold outside. What is the hummingbird doing hanging out in Vancouver? Whatever temperature it is. Yeah, they're not. They're not <laughs> only the boss does that. Yeah. So that that I got my I got my permission to go on the eclipse. That's the plan. I'll figure out how to do that to Kahiwaha, go. Uh, Kahiwaha, Kahiwaha had sent me that image just minutes ago or a few minutes mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. So she's Absolutely. gonna be in. She's gonna be in Texas. I am gonna be going somehow to Shawnee National Forest for the eclipse. Thank Got some you. protocol to do. I don't know what it is yet, but we're yeah, gonna do you, it. You guys said you guys are dragon masters. You'll know how to design a protocol. Yeah, so that's fantastic news. Yeah, I was yeah. very pleased to see the the little guy up on top there, on top at the top of the ancestors totem. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's right the on, eagle, right not the just wing. anyone. Right on the wing, yeah. Uh, somebody, somebody saying, people don't belong in forest. Please leave the nature alone. You're just going to get lost or attacked by a bear. <laughs> Stay in the park, safe. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Somebody named A. <laughs> well, uh, you have to get permission, A. Uh, and first, you have to understand how to get permission, and the forest will give you permission. This is, but also out of respect, we we absolutely do go to the forest only in respect. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, part of the conversation of this, the eclipse and what's taking place, being in the right place, getting permission to go. Uh, this is a. This is the voice today. Now the voice, the sacred voice has returned. That's my whole point. The sec, uh, that's my whole point about uh, the Lemurian, the Wataka, is that the sacred voice has returned. Now through those processes, you have been granted access. Okay, still pay attention. Still pay attention to the protocol. Still pay attention to the respect of the ancestors for sure. Um. We got a couple of people here. There's one here, uh, Akhtali. Akhtali. What's up, bro? How's it going, Ona? How's it, how's it? Yes, sir. It's, oh, it's beautiful. Cherry on the oh, west. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, you're, sir. Run, you're, you're over in the west, are you? Yes, sir. West side, Oahu. Uh, Makaha. You're in Makaha, no? Makaha. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. So that's, that was very beautiful, what you were talking about, the... Uh, the permission as far as oh, respect yeah. you know it's it's very important that we that we speak to the aina or the water yeah. as we enter so so just, you, just you are like what i like your hair bro <laughs> oh mahalo mahalo i don't do much to it besides get it salty and, and That's it. rinse it every now and again <laughs> i love yours too Got the antenna, bro. Got we got to grow the antenna a little more. Yeah, I, I got both. All of it's growing. It's yeah. It's not, I've I've been the only one to touch it for the past two years. So nice work. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feed my face too much, so I can't really afford to have a beard. Otherwise, I mean, I, <laughs> too much lao lao and the hooky lao. You know. <laughs> I hear you, but then you just jump in the water. 
You got the water <laughs> yeah. right there. You know, you know, you you know. clean after one good salt dip. I was in the water this morning. Boy, yeah, it was so good. Caribbean yeah. Sea in the Caribbean Sea. Um, what you got going on, brother? Stay with us. What's happening? Uh, no, I was just wanted to add too. I mean, more. I would say nothing's new under the sun as far as information goes, but hmm. I would say we're we're all rising in our own um, frequencies. So I wanted to add to the, what I've learned recently Please. as far as sound healing, you know, like the certain frequencies that we, we speak and yeah. the, the, uh, with the intention that we use to emit that sound, it, like you said, has capabilities of opening up portals and, and cleansing and healing. So I, it's also nice to know that we have our DNA that is attached to, um, you know, multiple generations, like let's say 10 to 20 generations of, of ancestors. So you're working with all of that wisdom inside of you or chaos, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So it's like you're, you're healing that aspect as well as kind of on this journey towards ascension so it's a fun process i spend a lot of time out in the land up in the trees or below the sea level down with the fishies so Wonderful, bro. yes sir. Yes, yes you know we are we are the ancestors on the ground we are representative we are the uri we are the descendants we are the moko so all of that is within us as we carry uh, the popo, the po manoa inside of us, the pillar. And so mm -hmm. th that's absolutely every time. Well, if you are practiced, sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds, when you are practiced and when you are of um, consistent discipline to these things, these understandings, um, as brother is sharing, we from, we from Polynesia, from the, we from Lemuria, from New Zealand, Samoa, all of it. We are, we are disciplined in these things from Hawaii. So it's natural for us, sweet, sweet dear ones, to to be, uh, for us, nothing under the sun is new, as a brother has said. Um, but also remembering remembering the ancient, uh, if we, as we go into the, the, the wairua, in other words, uh, the remembering through the ancient, the, the eternal memory, there's some things that are uh, ancient seem new again, certainly for those who who are at these certain levels of receiving guidance and, and allowing themselves to open. Uh, that is incredibly, uh, that is the, the, the pathway to, to this is to allow yourself to be open. Um, things have changed. Things have gone for the best, for the better. We're at a moment where the sacred breath has returned to you. And now we're sharing about that through the, the, the hummingbird, the owner of Aquarius. The owner of Aquarius in Lemuria is the hummingbird, meaning the, the, the throat, the throat, the Aquarius has returned to the tiny voice from heaven, that being that you can be with if you are if you if you are willing to open to these understandings and jumping from the malevolent matrix over to the benevolence, uh, or from, from that womb over to the benevolence understandings of the one womb. All that is available and would seem new to some, but is ancient new to, to, to those who have who are practiced of it. Um, I will be back uh, in, in Hawaii again, bro. He's, uh, the last time I was there, I was working with Buller Logan before he passed away. Um, I was working in a, I was presenting a workshop on Lemuria and, and had shared information about the ancient tree and where the portal is with the tree in Maui, Maui's uh, sacred geometry and how it, and where <clears throat> where the six-pointed star is located in Maui, which is still located there now, sharing those locations with them as we are uh, looking forward to what is coming in this near future to to bring to bring the Whare Nui or the Hale back main Hale back into Maui to 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 re-anchor the iwi to 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 bring the new house for the for the tribe to resettle 
fully resettle into itself in the iwi and to um, and to implement what is matua whangai, to implement full adoption of all Hawaiians, uh, be they yeah. Japanese or Filipino or otherwise, or Guamanian or Mexican, to be fully adopted back into the iwi. That has not taken place for these past 80 years in a proper way. Um, it is okay. People have been coming to support Hawaii in the protesting in these things, but also attached to that is is a, a stressful stressful point for some of us who who don't wish to see our sacred sites being protested on, uh, especially when the energies get to be challenging and you know there's a lot of competition. So, but but uh, but really, when the iwi and the fare the fare nui gets resettled back into the geometry of Maui, we can begin to implement full on matua fangai, and that all of Polynesia will support this. We're waiting. We're looking forward to it, actually, to bring the the, the fare into the into Pukalani, into into the vortex center of Maui, um, and so there's so much to do and share. I am working with uh, some other kahunas and brothers in in a big island and, and then around uh, Zep Kapuli, uh, old friend of mine from the old Hawaiian family, the Kapuli. And uh, the um, Russell, um, not Russell, Reynolds' uh, 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 brother is his uncle, Israel's uncle, um, oh, Reynolds, yeah, yeah. Reynolds Makavivioli. You know, he and I have yeah. worked together over the years. And so we, we, we're looking forward to this taking place, eh? Uh, what is this in the DNA? This is our DNA. The six pointed star and more points are part of our DNA, which lays right there in Maui. But to share more of this information, and I, I was at, I was doing that with Bulla before um, he he was he had sadly gone on to his journey and uh, left quite suddenly after that after that uh, after that last uh, workshop we had together. And um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm so grateful that you've come here, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, so um, we are having a big hui over in Vancouver. Just a yeah. little bit of announcements here, sweet, sweet dear ones. We're having a big hui at the end of July. With uh, um, we have been sanctioned by um, the Coast Salish, the Haida, the Squamish. Um, and, and the other nations there to have our event, uh, Burning Mask, which is a, which is going to host the uh, Wawa Summit. We call it the Wawa Summit, which Wawa means just much love. In other words, it's the Aloha Summit. Okay. Yes, sir. Within, yes. So I'm going to invite some of our two, our uh, brothers and sisters, our elders, our Komatuas, to come and uh, speak on behalf of and in the name of the, the disillusion and the dissolving of the, the codes of Haole and the codes of Pakeha, the codes of Popolo and the codes of uh, Palangi, to dissolve those codes within Lemuria so we can begin to move beyond the skin color thing in this conversation of the fair skin and the dark skin. And so um, we started in on this before Bulla left, uh, but we never got around to having that, that actual conversation, that, that summit. <laughs> So some of the elders around the world, including Africa, want to come in and learn how we move beyond this uh, skin color situation. And, um, and one of the ways I was sharing is that Haole is a disease code that was brought in by the Archons to affect Lemuria and, and, and even into modern Lemuria. So we really got some things to get into, bro. It's going to be interesting. You know the coding, including Pakeha, which means disease. And the Maori speak the Pakeha, but you don't need to be. Uh, it's not a white man's disease. It's colorless. The the whole point is that these codes are colorless, so they they get right into the DNA. These things they're stuck in our DNA, and uh, you know, of course, Maori being the most famous one, right? The most famous in the world. That expression Maori is the most famous one of them all, and it has it has its ways. Um, it, it's no longer serving. It no longer. It never, it never really did. So, so we we speak to the sacred breath. If our breath has turned to to fully re return to the sacredness, then these codes are now now need to be gone. 
and no longer spoken. Man, mm. that's a trip. that's a trip. That's going to be one heck that's, of a. That's the claim of the, the, the DNA within. I, I see. I yeah. see. I like the way you move, Huna. I love the way you move. Oh. I'm ready for the Mookie Mookie then. That's the Mookie Mookie brother. And, and, I'm and, ready. And, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, and these dragon tears are real. Yeah, yeah. Tihuwa. <laughs> yeah. Mahalo, brother. Mahalo, brother. Mahalo, Nui uh, Loa. Mahalo. And, yeah. Aloha, Thank you, Huna. Uh, tama Ake. Tama Ake. Very much. Hey, Akatale. Yes, Hey, are you uh, part Tongan too? So, Cherokee, the name of Katale means. Uh, oh, yeah. Cherokee. Yeah, yeah. Cherokee. Nice, nice, bro. Nice. Yes. You're welcome home. Welcome home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, I'm well aware of the Cherokee and also Oklahoma and Broken Arrow, Tahlequah for the tribes and also in the Black Mountains. So, yeah, welcome home, bro. Mahalo, mahalo. Yes, that's we speak bro. all languages, right? It's all light at the end of the day. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. I spent so. some time with your people, quite a bit of time back in the 80s. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Well, one okay, love. One love, everybody. Well, love, uh, well, well. Uh, Felicia. Well, Felicia. Go, Felicia. And I'm going to bring both of them on. Kahasa, he Ooh. too is here. Oh, hi. I'm bringing both. Hi. 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 She just brought everybody on for that moment. <laughs> Okay, I have a really quick question. Okay. <laughs> um, and Tahamayagi, I wanted to say to you, ever since I got my reading with you, the hummingbirds have just been showing up everywhere. I had one even show up when I was um, washing my dishes. It came up to the window, which was so weird because it's like it's way on the other side. There's no trees or anything. It just came right up to the window and was just flying all around. And I'm like, okay, that's the red one. All right, here we go. So I said thank you. Today I went for a walk and I wanted to know what role does the raven play? Because there was a raven that just came right over the little one that I was walking with and just nearly nipped her head. I mean, it was huge. So I'm like, what does the raven play? What That's part of that is it connected to? Thank That's you, funny. thank you, thank you. It's funny because that's what some of the hunas associate with me is the corvid. There, There's any number of birds, but it's the crow and the raven and Kahasahi is one of them yeah. where the, the there's a connection with that energy. And in I could say that they're really special to me in particular. Uh, the raven and the crow, I do put under the category of the caca, which is the talking bird, because they do replicate sound. Yeah. And they're extremely intelligent. They're very community oriented. So uh, the first thing that I thought of was go check out the Viking mythology in regards to the raven to get to get to know the raven and see what is it that it's coming through to you. What is the raven's role in the Viking mythology, I think is what's what's coming through. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And and the hummingbird is connected to throat? The, the talking bird? No, the, the hummingbird. The oh hummingbird. yes, the hummingbird is here. The talking bird is with the root. Oh, Yeah, Good. so there's there's two voices, one in the root and one in the throat. Okay. Thank you, lovelies. Wah wah. Hi, my nom nom nom. Hi. Yeah, I, I now had to jump online because uh as I found myself uh, working here on the on the floor with the wataka and um all of a sudden I realized the work that I'm just doing right now is actually related to this topic. And I wanted to ask you, Mauta, to touch a little bit more um on the sacred geometries and specifically the trinity and the cube relations because i had an epiphany today and started working on something that has been on a back burner for over a year now and i would just love to hear you share a little bit more on that um as you were already like starting to speak to the maita so the six-pointed star that it is part part of our DNA 
So that's basically where we start. And then we accelerate from, from there. And I would like to hear a little bit about, yeah, what you have to share on that. Well, you know, this, uh, it's really huge. Um, I was just, uh, I just ran, as you guys were talking, I just ran over to my, my, um, my, um, my pot, pot of um, <laughs> my pot. Your boil up. My pot of geometries <laughs> <laughs> that I'm cooking in my pot. <laughs> the oxtail. I just had to, to turn my oxtail down a little bit yeah, in the geometries. And you know the six pointed star on Maui. Let's go there for a moment because um, the six pointed star, uh, the geometry that still exists there is marked by six uh, important landmarks and each of these landmarks have a certain they have a certain essence that supports the dna okay so let me begin there i'll try not to take too long with this is so the six pointed star in maui each point has its own own particular function. In the in the direct east to the sun is the portal. When the body expires, the natural cycle for the body is to move from the the sacred house or wherever you have your wake, your ceremony, to north, moves north or northeast, or even east, a little east of where you are, northeast, and travels that position. Now, there's a an energy line that the spirits and souls travel down, and it's a natural energy line, kind of like the my, 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 mycelium network, okay? So that the souls move towards that and are able to take the natural cycle back to outside of light. That's in the east. In the southeast of that position is where the body is laid to rest. So when the body expires, it, it expires. It's laid to rest there, put into the earth, uh, which is known as the urupa or pa. Now, it can either be cremated or it can be expired and can be put into the earth southeast of the sun, northwest of the sun, northwest of the wahi, is where we uh, nurture the body, we feed the body. So your plantations and your 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 plantations and the and the food and everything is grown in the northwest position from the wahi, from the sun. Okay, is it important? Those three points. There's three of the six right there. Now, the other position we go to, which is uh, the wa the Waho, which is the moon position in the west, which is also spoken of as there you go. It's also spoken of as the angel's door. It's the uh, in it's the inception point. At this position, it's also the called the angel's door. We mark that position by the ocean or the sea, the water. Right there is the town of Kihei. And if anybody's been to Maui, okay, if you've been to Maui, this is how you map out the sacred geometry of, of Lemuria. It's the first geometry for the first civilization of Lemuria. So Kihei the, is in is Kihei is aligned to Waho. So Kihei is aligned to the Waho. Oh, okay. Kihei is the expression of Tihei. Remember, the Hawaiians replaced the alphabet, uh, they replaced the T with a K. If you yeah. don't know that, the Hawaiian language changed after Pearl Harbor. After Pearl Harbor happened, uh, they made changes to the language. Okay, so Kihei really is Tihei. And what does Tihei mean? The sacred, uh, grateful for the sacred breath. Tihei Moriora. Okay. So that's there. And then if you can see in the southwest is um, Fariatara or Haleakala, as some know, which is the mountain. This southwest is the position of the, the incoming of the birth or the child or the door of the child, line to the door of the child, which is Tona, okay? 
but also as we speak of it as the house of the rising sun, the sun being the child. And that's in the southwest. In the northwest is Iao Valley with the, with the Stargate. That is where the Stargate is in Hawaii, is in Iao Valley. All right. It's not on Kauai. It's not in um, Lahaina. It's, it's here. This is the actual Stargate. Uh, there are portals, which is in Kauai, but it's not the same. The Stargate here represents the communication to the soul body or the, the child who is about to enter. So uh, Haleakala is about the body of the child, and Iao Valley, which means the valley of the world, is about the the soul or the spirit of the child. And uh, entering in through the the inception point, which is the, the angel's door, why we call it the angel's door. Now, at the center, Pukalani, okay, uh, Pukalani, which, which refers to um, um, knowledge of the heavens, which is in the womb, it should actually be called Pukulani, because then it would be actually right with it. And I call it Pukulani anyway, because Puka means the book, or it means uh, in, in, in the Lemurian, it means to to read, okay? Reading is the reading of knowledge, uh, lang, langi, which means the heavens, okay? The knowledge from the heavens, which is also in the womb. That at the center is where we intend to create the main, the, the, the whare nui, the big house, the main house, the main building structures that form the traditional uh, and will, will hold uh, building structures to, to teach the school of light, also, the 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 to um, converge and merge the the tribes right there, and all the and the peoples to return to that, to have that location. We eventually the House of Huna wants to donate that. Uh, that's the plan. Part of the plan is to donate the Whare Nui back to Hawaii, back to Maui, and in that place is where all of the knowledge um, and competition and politics is spoken. It's all take place at at, at that at the Whare Nui, not on the sacred sites. So, what is this meaning um, to the DNA? This all of this structure supports the DNA. Now, if you own land, sweet sweet dear ones, sweet dearly beloved, okay, if you own land or property, I'm inviting you to set up your property in this manner. These six points, you can set up sacred sites in each of these six points doesn't mean you're going to have a, a, a burial ground on your on your on your site but you can you can put a marker to show that that's what it represents in a, in, in a good way and also you may grow your food in the in the uh, northeast you may have communications from an, an altar or a sacred site certainly uh, <clears throat> on the property Representing the northwest and the north south, uh, uh, sorry, not north south, the uh, uh, southwest, the south, northwest and the southwest. Now, this still exists because those villages on Maui demonstrate it. I yes, confirm. and and it's also interesting because um, the six pointed star is 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 uh, pointing towards the west and the east and not as it usually is drawn south, north and south. North and, south. and it's yeah. actually interesting because what I've just been working on is confirming that um, it's like uh, it, it came out the right way. It came out the same way, I mean. Yeah. So that in the end, the six-pointed star was, I drew the six-pointed star in the same manner as it is on Maui and I didn't even know about it. You know, I, I've seen this before, but I've, I haven't uh, yeah. recognized it. So that is very interesting. Um, this is, this is, uh, this is the original top of the mountain of, of Lemuria, the first mountain civilization of Lemuria, 600 million years ago, Maui was at the top of the mountain. Yes. This is not the star of David. This is called the primary, right? And this is hundreds of millions of years. Um, the first civilization of Lemuria. 
And so that today, to see it there today, when I went there and I had the workshops with the kahunas and I was sharing all this with them, we were in tears, man. Man, we were, we couldn't stop crying. Like they started remembering, you know, um, and they just getting triggered. And man, I tell you, just just incredible to to confirm all of that when I you know want to do that. So how does that? That is that's our DNA. Our DNA. You know, at the very basis, two two sixes is twelve, masculine and feminine, twelve strand DNA. Okay, uh, and we go even higher to 24 strand DNA, double density, masculine, feminine, 12, 24 strand DNA, consciousness. You go even higher again, up into 436 and in 48. As we go higher into the higher selves, our higher self is, is up above 48 strand DNA. Okay, so this, uh, this is the building block. These are the building block of it. But if you are consciously understanding this and knowing this, having a knowing of it, and you can see it physically like this, that it's not just drawn on a piece of paper or put on a flag representing somebody's religion or culture or country. You actually see where and what serves, what each point serves for humanity and, and our evolution and our ascension process is requiring. you got a place for your fasting. you got a place to eat. you got a place for the, for the return of the body to the earth when the body expires. you got a place where the where the child is born and comes in and, and you've got a place where you go to have arguments to, to, to get through the challenges. And then you have the, the, the ancient portals, Waho Wahi, West and East. Now, some many cults, many locations and many places have disconnected all of this. Now, if you have, a, if you have land, like that's why I said, if you have, yes, this is Maita. If you have land, and you have uh, you want to set up a village, a, com a community? I'm inviting you to set it up on this geometry. I know that people set it up on all kinds of geometry. I'm just inviting this. this is Lemuria? It's undistorted before confusion. Has no other, um, you know, inferences. Uh, in terms of the cube, you know, with all of the geometries, the primary forms the cube. The cube is within it. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, the if we if we look also at the four pillars, um, they are basic structure to Maita as well. I mean, without that, Maita wouldn't be as well. That's how I understand it. They are they are one. And um, as you know, as I was doing the work, um, I mean, when we look at mm -hmm. the Wataka, we we recognize we recognize that there are three cubes mm. within the Wataka, three cube mm -hmm. relations. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, uh, yes. Uh, I just wanted to bring you in, Jeffrey, because we are on time. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if you remember, I got rid of the beard. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he had the big epic wizard beard. <laughs> oh, listen. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just... I just had to jump in when Kuna uh, Tamaki said the thing about February 18th. I, I know synchronicities when I see them, and that's how I'm communicated with. And that's my birthday. I am the hummingbird, and I have all kinds of stuff going on yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I'm supposed to invite you guys down here to Missouri. I don't know why. I don't know. I, oh. My name in, in chat is MJ Wise, but I'll tell, I'm wise enough to know I don't know nothing. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I, know, I know enough, but I, I don't know enough. My mother guides me everywhere I go. But uh, anyway, I digress. Um, I'm supposed to invite you to Missouri. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I just supposed well, to there you go. Missouri. There you go. The voice of the birth sign from the from the hummingbird, and we know that the hummingbird uh, is the authority to get permission to enter the forest. And Tama, I hear that Missouri. What is not far from? It's not far, is it? It's on I'm the right way. on the. I'm right on the edge of the of the eclipse. If you think mm. uh, 2017, the, the path that came down, and that's right, uh, yeah, uh, uh, to the, that comes up. I'm I'm right, just right by the X. I'm right there in, in Imperial, Missouri, just outside of St. Louis. Just that's a wonderful bridge. invitation, right? Wonderful. So, again, again, I don't know. Again, I, I know enough. No, I don't know much. <laughs> to you, my pro, my, I don't need the. Hey, uh, I don't really need anything. I, I got everything I I need, <laughs> but. Uh, I just yeah exactly. Uh, I just wanted to communicate that I'm just 
relaying what I what I hear. And I enjoy your show every week. I get good stuff. I get the the geometry is helps me out so much. I can't even tell you how much. And I, I don't I don't want to take over your show. Really, we could tell Alero. <laughs> Another time, maybe I'll talk to you about that. But that geometry, I could I do things with that geometry. It's it's fun and it helps me a lot. Okay. So I just wanted to thank say that. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for that. That's amazing news. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is with uh, with the eclipse or whatever, whatnot, or whatever. But if I would love to come down to Carbondale if you guys do anything there or whatnot, and just uh, I emailed you guys a couple times, and like, again, I can't afford the. I'm on disability. I can't afford anything right now, mm-hmm. right now. But at, at the moment, but when it's time for me to be able to do that, I'll do that. So I'm already I'm already sealed. So in Thank my you, own brother. my own way. But that's Thank it. You. I just uh, want to say. Wow, that was synchronicity. I really love to uh, uh, go meet you guys down there if you guys do anything. So yeah, that was just pretty much it. The times are calling for it, brother. Stay, mm-hmm. stand by. All I All can right. say, is stand by. All we right. work at we work every night here. You know, <laughs> every mm-hmm. single night. You, it, the ninjas are working here, but trust me, trust me. So we're, we're, everything, everything's good. Everything's good. That's oh, all good, brother. I trust that. Guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, brother. Much love. Oh, that's so nice. Um, yeah, so you can see even in the geometry, the cube is there. Oh, yeah. What geometry exactly? What one do you mean? Re- huh? The, 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 first the Maui dimension. one? Yeah, the first dimension is there. The first dimension of the cube. Can you see it? It's the first dimension, meaning it's at the elemental level. Mm-hmm. It's right there. You can see it from El Valley to um, Macaval and Paia. And then also to uh, Kana, the northwest. Yeah. And the intersecting points. It shows you on the line yeah, towards Hale, Hale yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, for um, for the work that I've, or for what I've been just working on, it was about the relations between the Mutus and the Kawa. I mean, Tamaki and I, we've worked on that together last year, and I've just had another thing where um, where I understood how how they are actually aligned. So it's not in the way that you would think that they rotate, but they they have actually a different alignment. And um, and in the geometries, all of a sudden, you know, it's it's just bringing in more layers and it's showing showing just more the yeah, just how how it spreads out even more beyond um, beyond the cube and beyond the the triangle. But it's it's already in that way it's already showing more the 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 root of more geometries that are connecting to it so that's very interesting and yeah for me it's just also um yeah a thing where 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 we can maybe learn more of how these energies actually flow and also how our own intimate processes are connected to to how these energies need to rotate or how they need to move in order to truly activate this this dna so that's that's why i've asked you know because it's all of course it's all related because yeah yeah the, the, all these, within these, us. yeah these points are within the, the, the all these points and their essences are known to be uh, you know, within within us, that, that that's how I came to know them, and what the what their what their actions were, what the actual functions of them were that supports our DNA. Yeah, and I think also that there there might be some realignment um, available for us. Of course, in memory, we always have this realignment towards undistortion available. 
And I think, you know, because someone was touching on this harvesting energies during an eclipse or also within a, uh, a cycle, within one moon cycle, sometimes we can feel there is something there which is not supposed to be there. And I think it is because um, the flow of energy and the intention is not directed in the in the right manner. It's not directed in the right, uh, let's say, in the right alignment so the the focus is kind of off and because it is kind of off it feels like the energy is harvested or is not is not landing because the intention can actually not really take a hold maybe i don't know but that was just something where i also feel a lot of this can can bring so much um yeah of course clarity and and uh realignment and undistortion yeah. <laughs> and doing before confusion before confusion exactly that's what that represents before confusion because from that civilization model things got so confused and they were in, uh, crossing geometries and in, intermingling inter, inter, interaction between the geometries causing a lot of chaos mm. so returning to this primary is returning to the blueprint Okay, there's someone Thank else you. here. Thank you, Mon I'm Mon up out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, Trina, I can barely see you there. You're not. The light is behind you. Hello? And she's yeah. also muted. And you're muted. Yeah, she got sealed recently. I don't yes, remember yes, what her Huna is. But who got sealed? There you go. Unmute yourself. Por favor. Unmute yourself. Like there that. we go. Nice. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah, there you are. Okay, so I think I have you on my my speaker too. Oh, okay, great. How you doing? I'm doing well. So I'm going to kind of talk over that. But uh, I just did what you just said on my own land. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. Nice. And when, I, when I said uh, about that stone hitting my land, I wanted to double check myself to make sure that it was dead center. And I almost cried <laughs> because where I circled it yesterday is exactly where it's at today. Nice. Oh, amazing! Thank you. I, I'm 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 in love. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm, I mean, no, the land. No, yeah. nothing else. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. It, it generates love and compassion. For the first child, definitely. Um, so my question to you is, what do I do now? Now, just relax. Wait. Go and visit each point. Hang just go go and visit each point. And pay attention to what is taking place there, because each one of those points is a school of light. Of light. Each one of Chris, those points is a school. Can I stop you for a moment? I want to read this. What? She's going to do something. <laughs> yeah, that there is so go. much better. Oh. So. Go to each of those points and just visit with yes. them. Put your marker, put a crystal, put something there. Each one of them is a school. Okay. And each one of those points in that geometry can teach you so, so much. I'm still hearing the other part of your story. I'm, I'm hearing two different views. <laughs> Yeah, um, but, you know, what do you do now that you've got it on the ground? Go and visit and be that with it. That muted you. Huh? Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But I'm pretty happy about what you gave me. Um, I, but I just need to know. I, I put the markings on it. I just don't want to just, like you said, really, really sounds with the language. 
polite language or you don't yeah you don't have to just go there and be quiet just sit okay. and be quiet for and visit okay. each point they will speak to you okay oh yeah they will speak to you okay okay I'm just That's getting good. sound back from you. I don't know how to uh, end this on that, but. Sorry? I'm I'm hearing your previous message from the show. Oh, you got to mute the YouTube. So okay. on your computer, just go to the YouTube screen and mute the volume. And then come back to the screen. Okay. Yeah, is that better? Did you hear that? These nope. six points? Mm -mm. Okay. Is it better? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I apologize, but uh, we, can, we can speak later. I don't know how to unmute the, the uh, YouTube. Uh, just, just mute the volume for the YouTube channel. That's what it is. Are you there? Oh, wow. I mean, I can hear you. No, you're, it did it. I don't okay, know how good. it did it. It did it. It's one of those oh, things yeah. where you, if you don't know how to, how you got there, how are you going to get back? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you'll get used it's to like it. It's like you go there and you come back, like you said. <laughs> there and back again. Here and back again. Oh, this is so much better. So I did what you said, and I put the circle, and I sat down, and I got my apex, and I, and I, exactly what you said, and it, you know, I don't even need it on a piece of paper anymore. It's it's right here in, in the yeah. conscious. You know, you're fantastic. You're fabulous. Um, I don't. I'm just grateful that you're you're alive. The uh, you know, once you do something, you practice it, and it should be in there. That's why we practice. It's not okay. a mind thing. This is lesson and learning. Sometimes a little remembering. It's all good. You know, okay. it's all good. I'm. If you need guidance, guidance is okay. I know people always say we don't need to know anything. We just do. Well, that's fine. Some do need to know. And there are somebody that can help share the things. And that's what we do. So the the attitude is always to be um, ready for ready for the to discover, you know. So the ancient sometimes it's ancient new, right? It, it would, would seem new, but it's really ancient. So sometimes we remember things. You know, and so that's fantastic. Now, um, as we've shared, as I've shared the geometry, you know, um, you grow food in a certain geom in a certain area. You say goodbye to the body and place them in the ground in a certain area. Not that you're going to go and do that, but you can also pay respects in that area f for that. Should that somebody in your friend's circle pass away? You can stand in that location and thank, give thanks. Have your your um, what we call tangi, what we call the tangi. And I then think I or, heard that just the other day. Oh, yeah. We're and then is that the dragon something? That's the dragon tears of the dragon, the tani. We, the tani, we don't say yeah. dragon, we say tani. But that's where you have that uh, res give respect to the ones who passed. Then also, yeah, you know, and then you have your your house at the the main the main uh, center of it. it could be a house, it could be somewhere where you sit. You could be there just with a a seat and a table, and and, and you can go to that center and argue with yourself. <laughs> clear. I sat on clear. the ground. <laughs> you, yeah, sat, you can and you can clear clear anything that you may be challenging you, and you know, absolve things with yourself as well. well you you did ask me what was my intentions and I could not answer that question. I did. I did send you the information. I do have intention. I now know what an intention really means. Ah, okay. Yes. Wonderful. But see, I didn't, I don't know if I'm just that type of person, but 
what does an intention really mean? Well, um, you want to move something. Hey, uh, I want to take a bite of this apple. You got to go and get the apple and you got to bite it. That's intention. I hey, I'm going to go somebody and, else out there. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to go over and help heal this dog's leg cuz the dog is screaming. That's intention. Okay. You don't have to speak it. You can just say it in your head. But yay. Hey, if you want the world to hear it, then you can speak it to the world. I'm excited. That's intention. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Light, light in action. Yes. Okay, so thank, thank you. you. Um, I think we're 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 on our time now, Tamaki. Wow, I was the last one. I'm grateful. Uh, unless there's another question from somebody, uh, well, I see uh, lots of comments. There are questions from many, but you, you know, to get a to get an answer to your question, you have to come on here and show your show yourself, reveal yourself. I love it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Did you say you had something else, Trina? Huna. Ka -ka yeah, Huna. How do how do I spell my name? I think I tried. Um, I forgot what your Huna was. Just remind me. Uh, R I Seed of Light twice in my first and my middle name. Uh, no, the, the Huna itself. What's the Huna? Mata Naka. Manataka. Manaka. What? Ma. M A T A N A K A. Matanaka. Is that right? Matanaka. My, I, I, Mata. Are you sure that's what it was? No. I no. keep hearing it. I, I think it's Maritaka. Marinaka. 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 Ma, Marin, ma, Mari. Ma, I'll have to take a look in the video. I got a bird reading on the 20th. I mean, I, I, I see you. But it doesn't match that sound. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, let me let me get the sound that matches your light. Okay. One more question. You said I had to change geometry on the land. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, yeah. fair yeah. enough. You're making the land sacred. I am so pleased with with this. That's 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 what we do. Okay. What we do. What it Wawa? Wawa. So wah -wah. Wah -wah. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wawa. Got a chart reading with her on the 20th. Oh, yeah. That's right. I opened the books back up. So if anybody's interested and has not gotten their reading, come hang out with me. Yes. Uh, so grateful to Huna uh, Tamake, Huna Kahasahi. Huna um, Kahihoe, Huna um, Kahiwaha, Huna uh, Matarana, Huna Tawaho, Huna Katawaho, <laughs> Huna uh, Hikahima, all the Hunas that have created uh, their dot earth profiles um, and offering these incredible geometries and codes. I want to thank you very much. Sweet, sweet, dear ones, uh, if you're interested. Um, go ahead and have a chat with Tuna Tamaiki on Quantum Navigator Earth. Write your Lemurian birth sign. Okay, Lemurian birth sign. And also uh, Huna Kahasahi for your Lemurian oracle. So there is some historical and future historical uh, information to, to, to connect to. Um, Huna Kahihoe and Huna Kahiwaha. If you need purification work done or sharing or information, there's a Huna for everything. This it's is like, like it's like the phrase, there's an app for that. Just like there's an app for everything. <laughs> the Hunas are dragon masters, so just I'm just gonna drop that one in there, okay? They are they are tutored and practiced and disciplined. In the in the energies of a dragon master, 
which means they can amplify and they will amplify your energy should you need it. It's automatic. That's what Hunas do. We 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 align to this. That's why it's for us it's and for, for what my work is is important to share. Okay. What are you talking about, Richard? What July? Burning mask. Oh yeah. Uh, who the hoon is going in July? I don't know. There's lots of them. We're going to find out. Uh, why you would particularly want, want to meet a certain hoona, Richard? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean? B you mean from BC? Oh, I'm not sure who all the hoona is going to show. I can't say right now because then they might not show up and you'll be like mad at me. Huh? <laughs> uh, anyway, you'll get to meet them. Uh, well, it's open to everybody. The First Nation, Indigenous tribes, they are supporting us. They are, they are gifting us the land to have the event. We are sanctioned by uh, Squamish and uh, what was the other tribe? The Swalatooth. The Swalatooth. Mm -hmm. We'll also be visited by the um, the uh, Haida and and the Kwakutl. Did I say Kwakutl? And also. Um, uh, Fraser Fraser River, the nations of Fraser River. So um, it's, it's going to be a great showing of elders speaking. So if you're over there in Vancouver and anywhere in Canada, come on over, fly over to us July 28th to 29th, tentatively at this moment, and we're about to we're about to bring the information out anyway. Um, I hope that was uh, insightful enough for you who, are, who have come here and Enjoyed today's show. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, protect your DNA, uh, which doesn't mean you push people off. Protecting your DNA means um, you receive and integrate everything and everyone through your light and your, your love and your energy, energetics, because your DNA is super powerful. And if you are holding the higher consciousness of the 12 strand DNA and higher, and you are being with this, your DNA is supercharged. So to protect your DNA is to check is to connect even deeper into your, into your light energy and know who you are. I mean, really know who you are. There may be some learning on that area. Okay. And uh, certainly connect to your higher self. That's it for me for now. So I want to I want to pull up just some upcoming events. Oh yeah. For Thanks. for those in Germany, Kahasahi is doing the Dragon Ride in Hamburg, Germany. So if you're interested, you can go to her website. Uh, I have the full link there, the hashtag offerings. So if you're interested and you are in Germany, go check that out, March 30th. Thank you. So we also have for those on Turtle Island. There is a dragon ride coming up with our own Kahi Hoi, the light shaman, with the the wonderful music that Richard loves so much of the uh, of the flute. Uh, it's in Texas Hill Country, April nineteenth and twentieth. And if you are interested, she wants you to contact her directly at office at lightshaman.earth. Dragon rides are amazing. I actually got to do my dragon ride with her in Mongolia, so I'm really excited for her to to be hosting hers. And then. The Undoing of the Giants of Rhodes, April 27 and 28. If you are interested in that, we are take are taking the bookings for that. Uh, the information is on there of uh, where to be near when you book your lodging. We have the, the Google Map link of, okay, here's where we're going to do the event or roundabout where we're doing the event, book close to there. Because it is kind of a big island. Yeah, we're going to have such a really incredible moment at that where I'm, I'm hosting the undoing. I'm performing the undoing codes, pulling the nails from the hands and the feet, releasing the consciousness from the, the crucifix, and bringing you down from the sacrifice. Okay. It's the, uh, this is not the first time I've done this, I've done a few times now. So I look forward to all of you uh, and hearing your wonderful stories after having connected to the Hoonas and doing all the things. It's so much fun, so much joy to be around today. 
to be doing the things we are doing. This is not work for us. We're dedicated. <clears throat> we travel the world too. We're not just on, on YouTube here spouting a lot of stuff. We actually fly and get on a plane and go to the places and, and deliver. We're now understanding the house of Huna must guarantee um, the vibration, energy, frequency, magnetics of Lemuria fire. We have to, we have guaranteed that the house of Huna guarantees this. And so there was a lot of doing going on. <clears throat> I have one more thing that I forgot about. Huh? If you, if for anybody watching, if you are sealed, you're in the Dragon Masters and you are interested in the Dark Tunnel mission. Those are the two requirements. If you are interested in the Dark Tunnel mission and you have not already reached out to us, please email the office and we will be in touch with you there. I look forward That's to it. That's it. I'm done. Wawa, well, well, sweet, sweet, dear ones, sweet, dearly beloveds, and all, and all of those over in the grams of instant. Thank you for visiting. I, I, uh, I need to figure out how to get more interaction going with the, the grams of instant because it's so quite, the two are quite different, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thanks for visiting with me. We'll see you again next. Uh, uh, I have a show tomorrow night, actually. I or mean, tomorrow you, morning. Wasn't well, it tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Um, I have an interview tomorrow tomorrow morning with one of the brothers out of Thailand. Um, I, do you have um, something we can share on that? Um, I have the picture you sent me. Yeah, that'll Lokesh, do. Lokesh Ray. Here we go. Lokesh. We can share that okay. image and we have it on the video. Um, and you'll have the link on the flyer. And yeah, so it's, it is an incredible year. This we do not work. We we are with joy. We we play in the sandpit of love. And so uh, we travel everywhere to go and do these things. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Tamaki. All right, this is tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., being interviewed by Lokesh Rai on his podcast. Uh, it's a kind of a multi-layered, multi-dimensional conversation. So let's see, kind of fly by the seat. Oh, Looks like it's Soul Freedom Show is what it's called on YouTube. Okay, Soul Freedom Show. And uh, Lokesh Rai. All right, see you guys there. Um, getting hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and check out my pot of oxtail. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> and we'll see you all again soon. unpleasant energies in your home and surroundings and waking up in the middle of the night. My work involves clearing individuals, homes, and communities. Contact me at www.lightshaman.earth and I would be happy to help. Coaching for conscious entrepreneurship or travel is available with Huna Mahana. Book a free 30-minute consultation today at High Life Academy or High Earth Academy. For all of your high vibrational healthcare needs, you can visit Huna Kaparore at www.lightinaction.earth.
Online energy support sessions and on-site property clearings in the North Salt Lake area with Huna Mahariwa Atta. Head to www.hummingbirdhealingharmonics.earth. Introducing Mexico's only harmonic egg, operated by Hunas Maroyata and Maaikuta. For all of your health support needs, be it physical or emotional, head to www.apapachar.earth.